Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I want to start by saying that this exercise science video is designed primarily with athletes from contact sports in mind. In other words, wrestlers, fighters, American football players, etc. People who get hit a lot and need to prepare for it. But really anyone can benefit from this advice. Why? Because it will make you more resilient. Follow this advice correctly and you can become less prone to both injury and knockout. I am talking about direct neck training, such as seen here. Neck extensions using a weighted head harness. Sure, it looks like some sort of BDSM device. And people will stare at you when you use it, but it's incredibly effective. And I've linked one example in the description below of a head harness sold on Amazon that you can purchase if you like, which currently has the highest customer reviews. At this point, you may be asking, why? According to research, for every one pound increase in your neck strength, your odds of concussion are decreased by 5%. Think about that. Let's say you start off handling 15 pounds for 10 reps, and then you eventually work up to 35 pounds for 10 reps. That's a 100% decrease in concussion risk. And there were similar findings in another study from the same year on male and female athletes. They found that a combination of greater neck strength as well as impact anticipation can reduce the magnitude of head movement in response to an external force. For instance, a punch. And in doing so, lowering one's risk of concussion. Furthermore, it is believed that a stronger neck makes you less susceptible to being knocked out from powerful blows to the head. Now, there isn't any research that I know of to uh, support that specific sentiment, but it seems logical, especially given what research does exist regarding neck training uh, as a preventative measure for contact sport injuries. I've personally sustained a number of hard blows to the head over the years in karate, um, very often from kicks. Uh, I've definitely stumbled around dazed a number of times because of it, uh, but I've never gone down from one. It may be anecdote, but I feel that my weight training has played a big role in my resilience during full contact fights. Uh, in any case, um, many might argue, why not just perform heavy deadlifts and other shit? And that's a valid question. Luckily, it is one with an answer. In one controlled study, they had a group of men perform big exercises like the squat, deadlift, push press, bent row, and mid-thigh pull three times per week, while another group performed the same exercises but also included three sets with their 10 rep max of head extensions during each session, which I demonstrated earlier. Finally, another group of men trained nothing. They were the control group. This study lasted 12 weeks. Only the group that had performed the extensions increased both their neck strength and size. An increase in neck strength of 33.52% and neck size of 12.82% to be precise, all in just 12 weeks. So if you'd like to reap these benefits yourself, I recommend that you add in uh, just three sets of uh, neck extensions uh, using your 10 rep max three times per week, perhaps Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, just be sure to train smart. Uh, use good form with a weight that you can control, no egos. Keep in mind that you are dangling a fucking weight from your neck. And while you may never reach Dwayne Johnson's or Jeff King's epic neck proportions, you can still become a rock of your own making uh, if you dedicate yourself to correct, consistent training. So go get yoked. Anyway, let me all know what you think in the comments below. And also please like and share this video so that others can find it. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button to keep on top of my regular content updates each week. With that, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.